absolutely love my job. Did I grow up wanting to be a lab technologist? Not at all. I was definitely gonna go into medicine. When you're in high school and you're learning, you wanna be a doctor or you wanna be a nurse. But you don't know about all of the positions that are out there. I've worked in hematopathology my whole career. I got to specialize in microscopy, which is looking at peripheral blood and bone marrow smears. The tests that we do are used to help your doctor diagnose your disease or monitor your disease. So if you get a paper from your doctor and he sends you off to the lab, um, what comes next afterwards when the specimens come here is probably not as well known to the public as, as when you go and get your blood taken. You don't come into the position without wanting to help patients. Not only patients, but other people learning, like technologists and lab assistants. Like if you love what you do, there's just so many opportunities to share your knowledge. It's never a boring day. This type of role is extremely interesting and exciting. There's always new technologies coming around the corner, and as soon as you um, adopt one of those technologies, there's another one there waiting for you. There are some specialty areas as well, particularly in our zone here in Halifax. We do water testing. Toxicology is a laboratory as well that we have, so there's some forensic testing that is done there. There really is a laboratory that could suit your different personalities that, that people have. I think it all comes down to what you want out of it. So you're going to get out of your job what you want to put into it. It's definitely a very humbling position. Like, it just feels really good to watch someone get better.